Hi, I'm Peter Cobbin, and I'm sitting inside the control room of Studio 3 at Abbey Road Studios in London. You will see BMW speakers, and I use these to mix lots of music, uh, music of all genre, things like film scores. I've mixed the Lord of the Rings trilogy through to rock and roll concerts, uh, recently the U2 live at Slane Castle. Also in the control room behind me, you'll see the mixing desk, and that's actually where I spend most of my time uh, mixing music. And the important thing for me is what I'm actually listening to. The BMW 801 speaker is the only speaker that I have found that enables me to accurately listen to how the original recording has been recorded. B&W's commitment to bringing recorded sound to life began with one man, John Bowers. A former radio engineer, Bowers' passion for music drove a pursuit of perfection. He dreamt of creating speakers that would make him believe he was there, live in the studio or concert hall with the musicians. Working closely with top recording studios such as Abbey Road, the company he set up had one aim in mind. To create a speaker that neither added nor took anything away from the music. The perfect loudspeaker. Today, that commitment is as strong as ever. John Bauer's brainchild, the B&W Research Establishment, conducts the world's most advanced studies of speaker behavior. The University of Sound, as it's known in the industry, has turned the battle against sound distortion into a science. Materials, surfaces and structures are scrutinized, analyzed and optimized using the most sophisticated equipment. The transmission of sound is a complex phenomenon. Every element of a speaker's behavior, every tiny imperfection, is traced to its source. We take testing to extremes to arrive at solutions that push speaker design and technology to new heights. At the end of the day, though, it's what we hear that counts. Listening is vital. It's only by listening and learning how instruments produce sounds that we can discover how to reproduce those sounds accurately. The violin's combination of lightness, tension and strength makes possible the beauty and subtleties of its sound. In a speaker, the tweeter plays the same part. To achieve those high frequencies with absolute clarity demands a perfect shape and the stiffest material available. There is one material that no other can touch. And that we can produce under laboratory conditions. Diamond. Diamond that we grow like a crystal into the optimum tweeter dome shape. This dome is the heart of the tweeter, beating hard and very, very fast to generate frequencies well beyond human hearing. Thanks to the unique physical properties of diamond, it still vibrates like a pure piston at frequencies that are well beyond the reach of conventional materials. With diamond, we get close to the behavior of a hypothetical perfect tweeter, one that only exists on a computer with infinite stiffness. As befits Diamond, the result is almost impossible clarity. And you can hear it for yourself for the first time in the new B&W 800 series. Instruments and sounds lower down the frequency scale demand different properties. Our mid-range driver features a material that is nothing if not versatile. 
In the 1970s, Kevlar was the wonder fabric in bulletproof vests, but its ability to absorb instantaneous bursts of energy had other applications. has 30 years experience of creating the best mid-range drive units in the world. In the 800 series, that drive unit has an equally distinctive and effective home, the horn-like enclosure that works in reverse, soaking up excess sound energy from the back of the driver, so that all that emerges from the front is the most fully formed, focused and pristine sound. The instruments that give an orchestra its foundation are another breed entirely. Making bass sounds is about moving air and providing a vessel to allow it to move freely. The secret of great bass is structural engineering, providing the right kind of support one that allows the driver freedom of movement over large distances, but that keeps it strictly in line, even in the face of heavyweight bass. A formidable triple suspension system supports a cone constructed from an advanced composite material, light and strong enough to be used in spacecraft and performance cars. So well does it work that we need something special to allow the cabinet to breathe and relieve the huge air pressures inside. You don't see them, but the shape and surfaces of our flow port vent let the speaker breathe freely and silently. Every orchestra needs a conductor. In a speaker, the crossover is the conductor. In the 800 series, it's a select group of exceptional hand-picked components. It doesn't have to be big and complex, because when you have drive units this good, most of the hard work is done for you. A great orchestra needs only the deftest, most expert direction from its leader. In a speaker, of course, the instruments have to be physically brought together too. The forms that envelop them have their own highly sophisticated job to do. Generating strength and stability from the rigid cellular inner skeleton to the curved continuous outer shell. dedicated cabinet-making factory in Denmark, state-of-the-art technology is fused with traditional Scandinavian craftsmanship. Real wood veneers from sustainable forests are matched by hand from only the top 10% available, while robots refine the shape of the cabinet shell. Nothing is rushed, nothing passes us by.
We check the quality in forensic detail. The glue used to bond sections of the cabinet is adapted to show up under ultraviolet light. Any leftovers get picked up and sanded off. Once we're satisfied, the cabinet goes forward for staining and spraying. In England, the teardrop form of the mid-range head enclosure is molded from marlan, a synthetic mineral-filled resin. When it's set, sprayed with seven coats of lacquer and polished by hand, it's not only granite hard, but smooth as glass. The fact that all B and W voice coils are meticulously wet wound and baked by us, for example, might surprise other manufacturers. It takes time, but it's worth it for quality that lasts a lifetime. Like a piece of fine furniture, the speaker is brought together by hand. Then a baptism of fire. Behind closed doors, the speaker utters its first sounds and is put through every conceivable test of its performance and reliability. The speaker is only ready to leave once it's been pushed to its limits. <laughs> 